Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So over the last 24 hours, we have seen all kinds of coolness happening in the PlayStation 5 scene with this tweet right here that I released last night, which says, we've got debug settings, boys and girls. And that is so true and so amazing and so fun to have right now on my PlayStation 5. So in this video, I am going to cover in detail how I got to debug settings. Now, let's first go ahead and take a look over here at the project page itself. And now keep in mind that this project page is being updated quite frequently. So as you can see right here, there's been a couple of advancements with the readme text, some copy and paste bugs. So this is something that is ongoing. So expect a bunch more videos from me. But if you take a look at this document here, they recommend that you use something like fake DNS, which I might cover how to do that in a future video. And so some of these instructions have scared some folks off from using this, but you don't have to worry about that because there is a seven in one PS4 host, which is what we're going to be using by Echo Stretch. So let's go ahead and let's switch over to the PlayStation 5 and let's take a look at what it takes in order to get the debug settings on your PlayStation 5. Okay, so on my PlayStation 5, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to settings. I'm going to go to network right here and we're gonna go down to settings and then set up internet connection. And we are going to press the options button over here on the controller. And we're gonna go to advanced settings here. And then for primary DNS, we want to have this at at least 165.227.83.14. And so keep in mind, you do not need to set the secondary DNS. Okay, so once you've got your primary DNS set to that, just make sure you hit okay there and that you get back connected to the internet. Once you do that, we're going to press circle, circle, go up to user guide, user guide, then user guide again. We're going to select yes here, and then we're going to press L2 two times. And then for the URL redirector, we're going to type in es7n1.sat, and then we'll press R2 again, and then we will submit. And here is Echo Stretch's site. We're going to go to ES and then scroll down to 4.03 debug settings. Once you do that, need to give it just a moment here. And you typically will see this prompt. It just says there's not enough free system memory. So press OK there. And it says, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. OK. So it will finish up. And now press the circle button here. And what just happened on my end was, was that I got a kernel panic. So that is something that you will be used to getting is, is that this exploit still is in its very early stages, meaning that it's going to sometimes take 10 times, 20 times, or even greater in order to get it to work, or at least that's been the way on my systems. So I typically have to press the power button two times on my PlayStation 5 in order to get it to boot back up after a kernel panic. And then you will see this, which is cut out of pretty much everybody's video. So you'll have to reconnect your controller up again. Now you can select your user and your back in. And what that means now is that you just go up to the top and you just simply try it again. And there, another kernel panic. So victim socket overlap not valid reboot. That's something that I also get quite often. And it just shut down the system. So attempt number three, still a fail. Okay, and it looks like that one is going to stick. Oh, 
No, it didn't. So I just backed back out. Now I'm going to go back into settings. And there we go. We finally have it. So it actually didn't take that many times uh, this time. So that was interesting. So again, into the debug settings here, we'll go into game here. And where it says something went wrong, that is very common. It says that just about every time. There is a package installer. There is a add content manager inside of system here there is idu mode so you can turn this on or off i have not toggled it on and haven't tested it out there but i know it's an option there's a crash test so you can basically specify a title id if you would like to boot history which i thought was interesting this also shared on my channel on twitter last night which was all of the different times that you've booted it up. So in this example, the very first time I booted this PlayStation 5 up was on March the 6th, which was 2022 on a Sunday. You can fake the free space, test trigger. There is a fake M.2 SSD thermal shutdown. There is multi-user. So we'll go into one of the user accounts here. So hint has seen flag, all seen or all not seen. So there is PlayStation Network here. So NP environment. This is where, at least on the PlayStation 4, we were able to do things like change this NP environment where system updates weren't downloaded. So there is that ability that I believe that we will get here. Accelerated test, uh, auto power down, auto power down other, screensaver. BG Daily Check, again, very familiar with the PlayStation 4 and with them having that. There is Common Dialog here, which that screen doesn't actually go to anything. Controller Setting, Lotus IR Code Set Test, Core Dump, Crash Reporting, okay. Database, External Hard Disk Drive, okay, so you can mount and unmount. License activation. So this is pretty interesting. You can license all of these codecs without actually having to do it through the PlayStation 5 hardware. So again, something very similar to what we had with the PlayStation 4. There is this PlayStation VR in here where it says firmware update test, but when you select on it, it obviously switches to Japanese, which is kind of interesting there. PS4 games and applications. So PS4 title list, nothing in there right now. Screenshot settings, which I do not believe that does anything, and it doesn't. There is a system update that is in here, which does not do anything. Web, which also does not do anything. So anyway, I just wanted to share this very quick video with you. Obviously, I will keep you updated as new things develop. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Michael, out!